Okay guys, one of your main types of transformations is called a reflection. And reflections I think you've, you've probably done in the past, but this year you're going to see that we can reflect over more than just an axis. Um, we'll be able to reflect across an x-axis, y-axis, or even a random line that's written inside the coordinate plane. So let's just first talk about like what do you think a reflection is. Um, well, reflecting an image just means you're sort of, I think of it as mirroring an image. Um, another way that I think about this is um, when I was in kindergarten, we used to do those things where we would slap some paint on a piece of paper, then we would fold the piece of paper and we would look at, oh, where does the big blotchy paint match up on the other side? And we'd create something that we thought was awesome, but probably ended up looking like, uh, you know, an ant or a butterfly. They always look like an ant or a butterfly. But anyways, that's how I think of reflections. So what we're going to do is practice this with just a random point. Okay, random point. And this random point, what I want you to imagine is that it is some x and y uh, coordinate, uh, which means that it's like x distance away here, and our vertical distance is y, right? So that could be any number that you want. But uh, the reason, I just kind of wanted you to think through that. We're going to start reflecting this point around, okay? Now, reflecting that point, uh, we could reflect it across what's called a line of reflection, and maybe I choose the x-axis. So let's say that I choose the x-axis and I get this point here and let me go back to my, there we go. So imagine folding your piece of paper on the x-axis, where would this point go? Well, it looks like it would go right about here and I'm just being as careful as I can to think about matching it. I'm having to really think about the distance here and keeping that the same and I have to think about keeping the distance this way the same okay and what happens is when you're reflecting across the X it makes a it makes this point end up changing right the X and Y don't change okay but what changes is I'm now in quadrant 4 and when you're in the fourth quadrant what ends up being negative well um, the Y ends up being negative so one of the rules we're going to write down is if you are reflecting across the x-axis, then the point xy is going to map to the point x negative y. Okay? And that's just a rule. It's, it's something that if you want to memorize it, you can. I usually don't. I usually just visualize it. If I'm here and I flip, I'm down here. Like that makes sense to me. If I'm down here starting and I flip, I'll now be positive. So the rule works either way. So let's take the same coordinate and instead of reflecting it across the, uh, what did I say? Blah, across the x-axis. Now let's look at what happens when you go across the y-axis. So if you're going across the y-axis, we have the same xy. I'm going to highlight just like I did before. Now we're going to be going across the Y. And where would that red point end up? Well, the red point would end up right about here. So once again, same X distance away, same Y distance away, but look at what quadrant you're in, peeps. You're in the second quadrant, so what's the point going to be? Well, it's still X and Y, but it's now a negative X and a positive Y because you're in quadrant two. So don't make this harder than it is. Just look at what quadrant you're in, and that's going to tell you if you're positive or negative, and just visualize it actually happening. So there's a couple other transformations that we will get to in a second. You'll see them on the examples. Um, but I want to go ahead and write down a few terminology notes. Uh, so if you guys would look at your paper of notes that you have. Let's try to fill a little bit of this out, okay? Uh, first of all, a transformation you've already learned in class, uh, an operation that maps an original fixture, uh, figure called a pre-image to a new figure called the image. So hopefully you've already talked about this a little bit with your teacher. Um, a transformation can change the size, the position, or the shape of a figure. So we're going to be talking about dilations, translations, uh, we're going to be talking about reflections, like all of those uh, is what a transformation can do to something. And the first one we're starting with is reflection. Um, so basically if you want to think about a reflection as a mirror image or a flip, most people say flip because 
that's easier than reflection. It's going to be a, a flip over a line uh, called the line of reflection. Like I mentioned just a second ago, the line of reflection. Um, each point and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection, just like I was showing you on that first example there. And possible lines of, of reflection. Okay, so this is like what we already did. We already saw the x-axis. We already saw the y-axis as two of our examples. And uh, what you're going to see in the next two examples is vertical or horizontal lines, which this means that I could ask you to reflect it across something like x equals a random number or y equals a random number. You'll see that in a second. And then diagonal lines that are uh, in the form of the following. Now, these two diagonal lines are like the most two important diagonal lines that you can draw. You learn these in Algebra 1. Um, they just go through the origin and they have a slope of 1. So it's the parent function for linear is what you may have called it. So let's actually try this with a couple of examples. Okay, so triangle um, ABC with vertices blah blah and blah in the x-axis. Okay, so this in the x-axis, this is what you're going to reflect over. That's all that in the x-axis means reflect over x-axis. So the way I like to do this is I go ahead and graph what's called the pre-image. Okay, so negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 2. I'm going to graph 4, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I'm going to graph 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Okay. Once I graph these three, I'm going to make a triangle out of it. Now, why am I going to make a triangle? Because it told me to right here. Okay. So we're going to graph this triangle and we're going to reflect it. Now, we can use the rule that we wrote down on our paper or we can draw the line and visualize where it's going to go. I like to visualize because that's just how I roll. But feel free to use our rule, which on the other page we said that if you're reflecting across the x-axis, then the points x, y are going to map to what? They're going to map to x negative y. So some people like to memorize the rule because then they can just take all three of their points and just put them down here and change the value of y. They're just making y negative. Okay, so that's an easy way to fill these out. By the way, the primes just mean like a prime, b prime, c prime. That's like where's this guy moving to? That's what this means. So I'm going to graph it. So like this point when it reflects it would be down here. This point when it reflects it would be down ah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it would be here. You got to keep the same distance, remember? This one, 1, 2, 1, 2. So my triangle, I just kept it the same distance when I reflected it across the yellow line. That's where the points end up going. So voila, not too bad, right? Not too bad at all. Just draw it if you have questions about this. If you don't like this, don't do it. Just draw it. Okay, the next one is, or the last one I'm going to do is trapezoid, oh, yeah. Maybe it's not the next one. I'm going to skip that one because we've already done an example like it. So let me come over here and try one or two of these. Okay? These are fun. So parallelogram, blah, 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 in the line y equals 2. So remember this whole in the line business. Let me see if I can make this a little larger. I can't. I can't. That's okay. So in the line y equals 2 just means that I'm going to go to y equals 2, that's going to be what I reflect over. So y equals 2 is like right here. Oh my gosh, that's like gigantic. Let me see if I can make this smaller. I can't. So instead, I'm going to use pencil. Okay, so y equals 2 is right here. So I just draw my line right there. That's what I'm reflecting over. So once I graph these four points, I'm going to flip it over that. I'm only going to do one point for this example and let you finish out the rest. Uh, negative, I'm going to do point C and see where it moves. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So point C, let me make sure I counted right. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. One, two, three. Okay. Point C is right here. Now, C prime is going to be after we reflect it over the line Y equals two. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to count how far away I am 
and then I'm going to go that distance in the opposite direction because remember it's same distance from that line so this looks like it's six away so I need to make sure I go six away here one two three four five six this is going to be my C prime guys and that C prime I would need to basically just look at my point so the X didn't change the X is still negative four right but my Y is totally different um, if I count from the origin um, I'm going to be six seven eight away from the origin does that make sense look at where your axis is the axis is here and then count one two three four five six seven eight okay and that's how I would teach you to do these just draw it and see where it goes don't try to memorize a rule for something like this okay and then the last one and I will shut up is the fun one uh, we are going to do a triangle XYZ with the following vertices once again let me just pick one point and let you do the rest so if I pick the point negative 5 2 1 2 3 4 5 negative 2 there's my original X okay that's my pre-image point and I'm gonna take that and reflect it across the line Y equals X now Y equals X is that popular diagonal the Y intercept is 0 and the slope is 1 over 1 so it's gonna go wah, it's gonna go through all of these okay so I'm just graphing like Y equals MX plus B that's all I'm doing and it looks like that it's good to memorize that it looks like that without having to think so hard by the way and now it's like oh my gosh where is this thing gonna go well what's really cool is kinda hard you have to sort of like think oh my gosh like I need it to go on a diagonal like I could kinda go however far away this is like I need it to be the same thing over here but as you can tell from my yellow glop on the paper it's kinda hard to see exactly how far away that is so the way that you're gonna do it I hope is is with a rule <laughs> and ah no everything's gone hold on let's see if we can get that back terrible terrible one two three four five two and then the blue line sorry y'all okay so what I would recommend to you is is a really cool thing that happens is when you flip across this line uh, you know instead of going like over five and down two you do the exact opposite you're gonna go down five and over two and that's actually gonna put it in the same exact spot one two three four five one two so you can see it I want you to see it so you believe me see look if we folded our paper on the blue the red would land on top of this blue that's a reflection over y equals x but if you don't want to do it with slope like I just counted you know over five down two and then I went down five over two I just flipped it uh, the rule that you can use that most people memorize I actually would memorize this because you're gonna do this rule for like the rest of your life is that XY just turns into YX they just switch places y'all they just switch places so like the point negative five negative two turned into the point negative two negative five if you don't believe me count and look on your paper see look 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 so it's gonna be real quick and easy to do these next two you just flip your X and Y you don't change their signs you just flip their exact positions and draw it and it should look like it's exactly across that blue line right there okay good luck with reflections you have a lot of practice problems to practice but give it a shot and let us know if you get stuck